Hi, I'm Rebecca Gunther with www.m5a1photography.com and I'm going to talk to you about using orange filters in black and white photography. It should be noted that when you use any color filter in black and white photography, the final result is still going to be black and white. I know it seems common knowledge, but just to point it out, it's not going to change the color of your photograph. Um, the purpose for using an orange filter in black and white photography would be in your landscapes uh, especially. It's going to make the sky darker and richer in your, in your final photograph, which always ends, uh, it always lends a lot of drama and a lot of very specific feeling to, to the picture of your landscape. Um, also, you know, trees, you know, the green of the trees and any medium tones are going to be really brought out and really, you know, made richer and darker and just made a lot more beautiful. Um, however, it should also be noted that if you're going to be photographing, say, the fall foliage or, you know, a pumpkin or something that's orange, the orange filter is going to take away the color of that and it's going to appear washed out in your final print. So you want to consider that on the color wheel, orange is opposite from, you know, the blues and the greens. So you can use it to bring out those tones, whereas the tones on the same side will be just totally washed out. Um, but that's just a little bit about why you might want to use an orange filter in black and white photography.